Ever wanted your M4 AEG to fire as efficiently or as quickly as what you just saw? Or even switch your firing mode from full auto to three or five or maybe eight round burst or even half the rate of fire? Well, this is all possible with the Titan MOSFET by Gate Electronics. But what else can it do? The Titan is an AEG control system with eight optical sensors and so many different functions. All you need to do is install it into your version two gearbox, install the software onto your computer and Bob's your uncle. But don't worry, they'll be releasing a version for the version three gearbox and the next generation. Just to let you know, Gambit has already fitted his M4 with the Titan MOSFET. And if you want to know how to put it together, then Gate Electronics have already got you covered as they released an instructional video of which you can follow right here. Quick suggestion, if you don't often open your AEG, then get a professional to do it. Not like him. Not me. Moving on, once everything is installed, plug your AEG into the USB link, which is already attached to your computer, and then open up the gate control station. So, Gambit, what's the first thing you'll see? The first thing you'll see is the status of the control station, USB link, and the MOSFET. It'll allow you to check for firmware updates if there are any, and if there are, you can easily download them and install them instantly. The second tab is the settings, where one is able to configure the MOSFET to their liking. There's fire selector mode, which is rather self-explanatory. Pre-cocking mode, which pre-cocks the piston either automatically or as you're pulling the trigger, but it may add a lot of stress to the gearbox. It's boost, where one can configure how much the piston is compressed. Burst mode will allow you to choose either a trigger tap to fire the full burst, or you have to hold down the trigger to complete the full burst. And now for the number of bursts, from two to 10. Turning rate of fire stabilization on decreases the wear and tear of the internals and having it off adds tiny breaks to each shot for a more realistic feel. The rate of fire control can have your AEG running at 50 to 100% of its maximum rate of fire. For example, at 100, you could be shooting 20 BBs a second, which is honestly not that much, or at 50%, you could shoot at 10 BBs a second. Simple math. Sniper delay basically adds a delay in between each shot, which is more suited towards DMR users. For battery protection, you can either leave it off or first choose the battery type that you are running, then the amount of cells that it has, but keep it automatic for simplicity's sake. You can then choose what voltage the battery will cut off once it's close to out of juice. You never want your battery to be fully discharged. 30 round limit forces you to reload after 30 rounds. Switch to safe and switch back to any other firing mode to shoot again. If you turn cycle detection off, most of previously mentioned functions will be gone, basically, turning this MOSFET into a basic MOSFET. The equalizer, in layman's term, will allow you to fire your follow-up shots without releasing the trigger to its initial breakpoint. The levels are just for sensitivity, where level one is the highest setting. Regional lock shouldn't concern you, as that's a setting for distributors if someone chooses to have this unit installed before it being shipped to them. The gear ratio? Choose the gear sets that you're currently using to optimize its setting. Now, before we go to sensor, let's go straight to statistics. But unfortunately, during this time of the review, it's not available just yet. But an update will occur in the near future, allowing you to see the stats of your AEG, including temp, current, voltage, etc. DTC stands for Diagnostic Trouble Codes and will help you identify if there are any problems occurring within your AEG. For example, for OCP1, the possible reason could be that the motor is damaged, jammed, or short circuited. And the best way to fix it is to either unjam the motor, replace the motor, or check and fix the motor wires insulation. So instead of looking completely clueless as to why it's not working, now you have a basic idea and can inform a gun tech of the specific problem. So they cannot scam you. Yes, that too. So finally, we're here at sensors. This is where you can find all eight sensors displayed on the top right. So we got the gear two, that's the first one, fire selector, second, third, Followed by the trigger, there's one, two, three, four, and five. Gear tooth sensor detects the positioning of the sector gear. This sensor regulates all the features that are dependent on cycle detection. Fire selector, as shown in the diagram, lets you know if the selector is working properly. If not, you can always recalibrate it at the bottom right. The next three are all connected. 
Trigger sensors involve the last five optical sensors and allow the user to easily identify how far the trigger is being pulled back. You can also adjust the trigger sensitivity so it can fire at a certain point. For example, if you select three, it'll fire at three. And now for AUG mode. I hate bullpups. Oi! What? Professionalism. Just move on with it. It's my MOSFET. I don't care. Fine. As I was saying, and now the AUG mode, where slightly pulling the trigger will be semi and pulling it all the way back will be full auto. Obviously, the positioning of the trigger can be adjusted even at AUG mode. That's everything technical covered. We actually get to try it out. So Gambit, what are you going to do this time? So first of all, I'm going to go through my personal setting. Personally, I don't like my trigger to be too reactive and I feel the gun shoots fine without precock. So my current setting is safe, semi, and at full auto mode, a tap will be three round bursts and holding down the trigger will be full auto. So that's everything, I guess. Yes. All right, so let's put on some iPro, plug it in. Very important iPro, yes. And there's, that's the noise. It is all connected. That's a battery protection. Yes. And so now, let's try it. So my sensitivity is at two. All right, hear that? I said three arm burst in full auto with a tap. Three round burst. Yep, and then hold it down. Full auto. That's pretty cool. But if I wanted to do something stupidly, utterly ridiculous, what would you suggest? Easy. So let's turn on precop, set sensitivity to one, precop boost at high, and select fire selector mode to semi, burst, and full auto. No safety. Burst will be at eight round bursts, and it'll now fire at 50% of its rate of fire. Okay, so here. Uh, now it's at safe. So not so safe, really. Not safe at all. And look at the trigger pull. It's so sensitive, <laughs> it's stupid. You said you want stupid setting, right? That's eight. And then... Slower than my setting, but 50%. May I... may I hold it? Why? Come on. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Oh, battery just fell out. So just very sensitive trigger. On safe. On safe, yes. You're breaking my gun. All right, here you go. Now, a few of you may be wondering as to why I was being so abusive to his beautiful AEG. This is because that the other day when we uploaded the footage of us testing that trigger on Instagram, somebody was wondering whether it being hit or it falling or something just tapping it in an aggressive manner would make that trigger fire. And I just proved a point that it doesn't. And I'm sorry. She's offended. I know. That being said, the utterly ridiculous setting is just completely stupid but amazing at the same time. And it just goes to show that the amount of settings you have is just endless. You can either go for something milsim or something absolutely bonkers. One thing you might have noticed is that the USB link is currently at Dean's. Though if you have a small Tamiya battery, don't worry, they have a converter for that too. So, so what, what we have here is an AEG Guntex wet, wet dream. Are you really gonna do this right now? You say the same thing all the time. If you guys owned this MOSFET, let me know what you guys would do in, in the, the comment, comment section below. below. So, so for this cool product and many more, go to our online store at www.rebelfairsoft.com. See you guys on the next episode of Rebel TV, Pornstash and Gambit, out.